Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I'd like to talk a little bit about how to get the DJI Fly app installed on either your iOS or Android device. So for example, I've got my uh, first generation DJI Mavic Mini and I need to get this thing talking with the phone. So I'm gonna need the appropriate app on the phone uh, to interface with the aircraft. So that is the DJI Fly app. And why don't we start off with the iOS device because this is the way, 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 way easier way to go about this. Um, and as you might expect with most of these systems, all you need to do is just head over to the app store on your iOS device and then go ahead and search for uh, the DJI Fly app. So I'll just type in DJI Fly. All right. And search. And it's pretty much as easy as that. Here is the app. You just download it um, in the App Store and it's pretty much ready to rock. So I've got it sitting here and there we go. Yep, it's pretty much ready to rock. So the iOS experience is super easy. Now, unfortunately, that's not the case if you're on an Android system. So to show you what the problem is, let's go over here to Android and let's try to do something similar. Let's go over to the Android Play Store and search for DJI Fly and nothing comes up, right? For whatever reason, I believe it's some kind of US, I don't know if it's like a export or did some kind of uh, licensing disagreement or whatnot, but it is not available directly from the Google Play Store. So you can't get the DJI Fly app on your phone um, via the app store and it's not because this phone is old and is not supported in fact this is a galaxy s10 sure it's a little bit old but it's it's not ancient by any means and in fact you go to the dji website and you see here it says that this is supported but you can't get the app through the app store so let's talk about how to go about doing that in a alternative fashion so to do that just go over here open up a browser and go to google and search for dji fly app all right that's probably the easiest thing to do and what it's gonna take you to is a uh, download page on DJI's website, okay? And what you're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to directly download the Android APK file from the website. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on download, okay? We're gonna give this a second and uh, it should give us this file and here it is. You can actually kind of see, let me see if I can zoom in there a little bit. So you can see here we've got version 1.6.1, okay? So let's go ahead and download that file, okay? And then as soon as it downloads, we are actually gonna have to install it directly from our phone. As you can see, it says, uh, you really want to do this? Um, do you uh, want to really download it? It might be harmful, so let's just say, yes, I really do want to download it. Okay, so it finished downloading, so let's go ahead and click on open. And that should hopefully start the install process. Okay, and you may have to um, update some of your settings to allow you to install these unknown apps. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this in settings. And we're going to say allow from source. And that's going to give us the install button. So let's click on install. And we'll give this a little bit to complete and we'll be back. All right, so it looked like it said it co is completed. So uh, instead of opening it directly, let's just go ahead and hit done. And uh, let's go ahead and minimize this and let's see if we can go ahead and find the app now. There it is, DJI Fly. In fact, let's go ahead and add this to our homepage somewhere. All right, there it is. So here's the app installed on the phone. Let's go ahead and click it and see, aha. Okay, this looks pretty good. You get your normal terms and licensing. So I guess I'm gonna just have to agree and we're gonna have give it permissions for photos and location. I think it's gonna need all that. So let's go ahead and allow it to get devices location and allow it to get media. Um, so it can write uh, the streaming video to the phone. Okay, and there we go. It looks like it is installed now. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing talking to the aircraft on the Android device via the controller. So let's get everything hooked up and we'll be back in just a second. All right, so we got the DJI Fly app installed on the phone and we've got the phone now hooked up with the controller via, as you can kind of see here, the uh, USB cable. So let's go ahead and see if this is gonna work. So first I'm gonna power on the controller. So click and then click and hold. Okay, and then we should get a notification on the phone. Hey, why are we getting no notification? 
Ah, there it is. Okay, great. And it wants us to allow us access to the DJI Fly app. And then, yep, so we'll just say okay. And then okay again to open up DJI Fly. And uh oh, hold on. I think I hit a button. Let me start up Fly here. Okay, there we go. And it should be connecting. And all right, great. Pre flight check. So, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. Or, you know what? Uh, I've done these in the past. So, let's just skip these pre flight checks. Um, okay. And there we go, we're getting uh, footage from the aircraft. So let's just go ahead and verify that this is gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up the propellers. Okay, let's go take a look. What does the aircraft look like? The aircraft looks like it's ready. So let's lift up. There we go. The home point has been updated. Great, and as you can see, it looks like it's working great on the app. So we should be able to basically fly around. And that's... That's it. It looks like it's working. All right, so there you have it. A, uh, well, unfortunately, not so super easy way to get the DJI Fly app installed on your Android device. We saw it was really easy on Apple devices, but on Android, you had to go through this kind of uh, slightly onerous process, but I don't think it was that bad. You see, it clearly works, and uh, we're off to the races. So with that being said, I think this is probably a great spot to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope I'll be able to catch you at one of these future discussions where we can all learn something new together. So until then, I think I'll sign off. Talk to you later. Bye.